All right, so we'll do an abbreviated pre-flight for today. Um, first thing we're going to do as we're walking up to the aircraft is we're looking to make sure that it's level. Um, the skids are actually just sandwiched in between uh, a bunch of foam. And so sometimes if you have like a rough landing or something, I've heard stories that where it'll be kind of cocked off to the side in this aircraft in particular. So it all looks good. Nobody set it down too hard. Um, and while we're up here, we're just looking at our landing light. It's, it's not cracked or anything. Um, and our pitot tube is unclogged. And uh, our static port, which is right up here, is also unclogged. No debris or anything. And all looks good. We're going to come into the inside. And we'll flip on our master. And our strobe. Strobe light's on. I always check the uh, nav lights just even in the day just to make sure that uh, somebody taking it up at night um, has everything working. So that looks good. Lights come off and we check our fuel and we're sitting at 10 gallons so we'll have to get um, a couple gallons of fuel. No warning lights or anything, everything looks good. So we're looking at the seats to make sure that they're not like buckled or anything. These are stroking seats. So it's got a piston behind the, uh, the seat here to kind of absorb a lot of the impact that you might have in a crash. So these all look good. Our fire extinguisher is secured on the other side. Uh, documents are right here in front and they all are there. Everything looks good. We'll come out here to the rotor blades. And we're just looking at the general condition of the rotors there's no cracks there's uh, nothing looks fatigued uh, specifically they have a safety wire um, on the ends right here and everything looks good good all good here and then we'll look at that last one All look good, no cracks, no fatigue. Good. So, um, let's see here. Coming under here, we're looking at um, where the skids are attached. Um, they all look good. This is the foam that it was sandwiched in between. Oh, looks great. Whenever we get our fuel, we'll be sumping it out of here. And we're also checking the aft skids. Those are all good. Right where they should be. Perfect. All right. So, we're looking on the inside of our cowling now. Hinges on. Uh, manifold air pressure line is secure. Um, we're looking at the general condition of everything, make sure that uh, torque stripes are in line. Let's see if I can find a torque stripe like this right here, just to make sure that it's not um, like backing out of the, uh, the screw uh, at all. And uh, just making sure that nothing's like wearing down or breaking down. All breakers look good, batteries in place. Um, let's see here. Ignition coils, so these are our plasma ignitions on top, supplying the top spark plugs, and they all look good. General condition of the engine looks good. It's a brand new engine, so uh, no cracks or anything, nothing that has to be drilled out. Um, coming back here, again, just checking the general condition of everything. Down here, we've got our mixture control and our throttle, checking torps, torque stripes, uh, everything looks good. And our auto carb heat, which is back here, it's in the cold position. Um, if it was in line with this red, I think I feel it, that red uh, sticker right there, then that would be in the hot position. So it's up, out of the way. Um, exhaust pipes all look good. No like uh, white, uh, like chalk-like uh, substance coming out of it. That means that you, you could have a leak on anything. Uh, Coming up here, magnetos look good, supplying the bottom spark plugs. Uh, 
Oil cooler hoses are all in line, all torque stripes are good. No significant oil leaks or anything. Um, push pull rod, uh, control in place. All looks good, that goes to our tail rotor. And boom attachments. All the torque stripes look good, all the cotter keys are in place. Um, everything's looking great. Antenna's in place. Cannon plugs in and our engine mounts are in place and not, you know, not at a, a weird angle or anything, so it all looks great. Everything's where it should be. So coming back here, looking at the tail, just at the general condition, so to make sure that there's no cracks, uh, no areas of fatigue. Horizontal stabilizers in place, just wiggling it a little bit. Looking at each individual blade, make sure that there's no um, cracks or anything. Everything looks pretty good on it. Good. So, making sure that there's no excess oil um, coming out of the gearbox here. Everything looks good. Our chip detector's in place, and we've got oil here. Um, tripod attachments in place, firm. Everything's free to move. So it all feels pretty good. Safety wires are all in place, not coming undone. Very good. So, um, also checking the front of this and the stinger to make sure nobody hit it and like our hovering or anything. So, they get bumped. All good. Uh, sometimes, typically it happens with, with autos, but uh, you know, not with this one. This is a pretty. <laughs> Pretty light little stinger, so it would you definitely feel it if it if it touched at all. With the 22, sometimes you scrape off a little bit of paint, but um, that one that one would probably do some damage. So all looks good here. Torque stripes are on and in place. No cracks or anything. Good. Open up our other side. And let's see here, boom attachment, still good on the other side. Nothing's changed, torque stripes are still in place, cotter keys are in place. Um, oil filter looks good with our safety wire. We'll check our oil real quick. We want it in between four and six quarts. And we're sitting just under six. Um, we'll check that again whenever I get a rag, but it looks pretty good. Uh, good. Coming down here, everything looks good. Pipes are in place, not moving at all. Um, you're not really, you know, um, pulling them too hard, but uh, you know they should be secure. Um, all torque stripes look good. Coming up here, we're going to be looking at our uh, ignition lines. And then our rotor brake's gonna be way up in here. And all looks good. Uh, oil cooler pipes and the oil cooler boxes right here through the center. And uh, all the torque stripes look good. Again, no oil leaking out or anything, no pools of anything. Um, flex coupling, looking up in here. And it all looks good, all of it's in place. Um, Nothing's like torqued out of place. And the torque stripes are in line. Our pulley looks good on this side as well. No fatigue or anything. Uh, clutch actuator, or sorry, uh, clutch solenoid looks good. And no oil leaking out anywhere. Clutch actuator looks pretty good. We'll check our flap right here. So it's kind of a hard to reach place, but we're pulling this inspection flap down and we'll be checking out our oil, our main, good, we're looking right back in here, checking our main rotor gearbox oil, so that all looks good. And while we're back here, we're also checking our chip detector, which looks good. It's in probably the most awkward place to get it. And our inspection flap 
goes back down. All right. Good, so antenna is on, all looks good. Um, let's see here. Coming down here, we're looking at our gas glader drain. We'll sump that as well whenever we get fuel. Torque stripes are on in the fuel cylinder. Uh, checking our skids down here. And uh, all the skid attachments look good. So the boots are on. There's five boots on, on both of these skids. Um, since it's brand new, they shouldn't be like, you know, worn down at all. You can still see light underneath both of them. Uh, and let's see here. We'll pop open our baggage compartment. I'll we'll actually close this so we can get up on top and check the rotor blades. Side's so still open. So, climbing up on top. Uh, we're checking out the top side of the rotors on this. Everything looks good. There's no cracks or anything. All looks great. Checking all of our uh, pitch change links and uh, dampeners. Our bolts aren't backing out. All the boots look good. No deformation or anything. Safety wires are all in place. And this is probably one of the more important places to check. Um, as if, you know, the, the engine fails, you can still get back down to the ground, but if the, the rotor system fails, you're gonna have a really hard time <laughs> getting back down. So it all feels good. Everything's firm, but free to wiggle. Our droop stop looks pretty good. and all of our attachment points look great. So, looking down in here, we're checking our inlet, and looks good. All right. And, so that's about it for the abbreviated version.